Okay. Whew. All right. So what you're seeing here is my Flash program. I just bumped the mic. This is my website. It doesn't look like much right here, but I'm going to hit, see, I've got some stuff going on here. I'm going to hit Shift Command. Wait, that's how to start the video. I want to go Option Command Enter. Oh, I had to be clicked on. Option Command Enter. It's very professional. See, I've got some errors here. I'll, I'm endlessly revising things, but it wouldn't be a David Hawk website without crap going on in front of your face. And there's mistakes. See, it's still in the hacking out mode. And that goes away. And yeah, I've just been like kind of relearning what the crap I'm doing here because I know how to do it. I just have forgotten a lot of things. Um, but I have notes that I can go back to. I wanted this to look like a beer can. Kind of like classy, like a lager. This font kind of looks messy here, but it's it's kind of the vibe I want to go through for. Let's see if I can get a better quality. No, nope, that's it. It's as crappy as this. So now the second time the helicopter comes back, the magnetizer arm does not deploy, it just appears. So I have some things I'm working through. And here you can still go to my old website but since this is a Swift, it'll pull up over here. Yeah, and you click on this. This is the one cartoon I have up. And uh, I think it's great, but I haven't gotten a lot of feedback on it. It's, it's not even finished. That's probably why. I even got a British guy to do voice acting here. Okay, let's get out of that. So anyway, this is it. Only one of these buttons works. <laughs> but it doesn't even go to the, my like a email type thing and obviously I have to attach these buttons to everything anyway I also want it to have like a garage door opening and having a truck either come out like this um, and going over here and I wanted to have those kind of colorful blocks out in the yard in 3d which I use SketchUp to kind of get a perspective on a shot um, also, I wanted to have this, uh, when you click it, have the whole website turn like a cube effect so that it would turn sideways like a Rubik's Cube turning. Not quite, but like a cube. <laughs> and you could do that using 3D software quite easily, but probably still, see it's just going to appear, the magnetizer arm. Bam. Got to fix that. But I think my helicopter is lovely. Um... And uh, can go to my old website and what work I've done. I don't know. There's just a ton of work to do. Um, I also want to show you my preloader, which I get out of napkin, which is by me. It's called napkin because it's like something you just jot it down at a restaurant. Anyway, this is my current preloader, which I'm not exactly happy with. I'm gonna hit Option Command Enter, which just loads this. Oh, a compiler error with no error. Anyway, so there's a bunch of David Hawks going back. I don't like how kind of sloppy this all looks. I do like how it looks kind of sketchy. But you can notice here, this eye doesn't have a bottom stroke. I also don't like how this kind of looks like a rainbow. I was trying to make it look like tile in a classy hotel bathroom, but it just came off looking kind of like I'm promoting gay pride, which I'm not. <laughs> not that I'm against it. It's just not something I'm promoting here. Anyway, that's that's it. I, I, I don't, I'm not quite happy with this whole thing. I kind of dig how it's like a stairway to heaven. But I think I'm going to change it. I, I endlessly change everything. So anyway, that's my video about what I'm currently working on. I'm also working on my cartoon which maybe I'll show you a little bit real quick baby pipeline current yeah see this is uh, um, I don't know I don't know if I should show you too much because it's like 
I'll give you a taste. How's that sound? So I want to go Option Command Enter just to show this one scene. I don't know if you can hear anything, but there's music, should be music playing, but maybe you don't hear that. So, I mean, this is going to be different, quite different when I get done with it. It's almost the exact proportions of, oh, okay. It didn't show everything, but that's okay. I've got a lot, a lot going on there. Anyway, uh, well, maybe I'll show you one more. How about I just hit so you can see the whole thing. Okay. What I've got so far. And I'll trust that you don't sell me out <laughs> or steal my idea. Don't steal my idea. Not that you would. Why would you want to steal someone else's idea when you got your own ideas? Right? This might not be something you would have done, you know? Yeah. Dealing with like making the effects too effect heavy and uh, having trouble with um, the timing. So it's almost like scenes don't really work in flash if you have a lot of effects going on like this i really like that there i did a rotoscoping effect you notice <laughs> that took forever to animate uh there's a baby's that's going to be like you know how newscasters have things pop up i think that's it what happens next just goes on forever this is now where he has to do a speaking part, like, hi, I'm Dustin Johnson, blah, 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 blah. I think that's it, folks. Uh, you just got it. <laughs> that's pretty much what I got done. There's a lot more work that I've accomplished in, like, movie clips that I'll throw into scenes later. And then I will end up making all these scenes one scene because it really works sketchy when you've got scenes. I don't know why I just don't just make it in one scene to begin with but it just makes it feel more like you oh i know why <laughs> because if if you had to like test it like we're doing now we're testing it by hitting command enter and you'd have to watch the entire thing to get to the part you're trying to edit so at the end it makes sense to just throw it into one scene if the time there's timing issues with with what you're saying what the guy's saying with voice Anyway, that's it. I'm starting to uh, annoy myself, so I'm going to turn this off.